So this last part is about neutralisation. And what neutralisation is, is making a substance more like pH 7. So moving the pH of a substance up to pH 7 or making it pH 7. Here I've got some acid in this uh, boiling tube. It's a bit like the acid in my stomach when I've got too much acid in it. So what am I going to do? I want to neutralise it. And there are three different types of substances, three, that I can use to neutralise an acid. They are metal carbonates, metal oxides and metal hydroxides. Let's look at an example of a metal carbonate. So there is my uh, hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid and I'm going to da, 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 add some indicator solution and hey presto, it turns pink because it's pH 1. Added quite a lot of indicator, oops. Right, I'm now going to neutralise it using a carbonate, a metal carbonate. This one is calcium carbonate. It's white chalky stuff because it's basically, that is ground up limestone, ground up chalk. And I'm going to dunk some in here and let's see what happens. And it, oh, it goes fizzy fizzy and it's turning a different colour. Let's chuck loads and loads and loads. Ah! Oh my god, I'm making a mess here. Oh, oh, hold on. And it's changed colour, it's gone green and I've seen lots and lots and lots of fizzing. It's gone green because it's gone to pH 7, it's fit 7, it's become neutral. And it's fizzed because carbonates, when they react with acids, release carbon dioxide gas. So let's just look at those three substances again. Metal carbonates react with acids to form a salt, water and it goes fizz fizz because it releases carbon dioxide. Metal oxides react with acids to form a salt and water. Metal hydroxides react with an acid, again just to form a salt and water. So you'll only see fizzing in one of them and that's metal carbonates reacting with acids. Now there's some worksheets attached to this learning platform which you should do so you can practice both the word and also maybe the symbol equations for the reactions of carbonates, oxides and hydroxides with acids. Make sure you do all those equations.